So I, I did my residency training at Yale University. I spent uh, three years there in neurology. Uh, that was after my internship. Uh, after I concluded my neurology training, I decided that what I wanted to focus on primarily was the management of pain because uh, there is quite honestly nothing that will disrupt your life faster than pain. It's just striking to me that a neurologist with your experience and your focus into pain, your go-to product when you get hurt is the natural solution. Well, absolutely, and, and there, I'll tell you why. The one thing I know from the some of the background I have is that the COX-2 pathway, uh, which is uh, involved in creating prostaglandins that are, in, that are involved in the production of pain, is one we want to inhibit. The COX-1 pathway that produces prostaglandins that protect our stomach, that dilate our blood vessels, that keep clots from forming in, our, in the arteries of our brain and in the arteries of our hearts so we don't have strokes and heart attacks, we want to leave that COX-1 pathway alone. There's a lot of products out there I'm sure you've looked at other CBD products and you yes. end up with CTFOs, 10X Pure Gold, Super 1000, with enriched with the CBDA. What was the differentiator CTFOs product versus their product? Two things. One, the CBDA, because CBDA is the only uh, cannabinoid that has ever been demonstrated to have anti-inflammatory property. So there's a published study in a peer-reviewed journal uh, back in 2008. If for people who want to know the journal, it's uh, Drug Metabolism and Redistribution. Right. Uh, and the lead author was Takeda. That demonstrated that CBDA is a pure COX-2 inhibitor. Uh, so it's, a, it's an effective anti-inflammatory. No other CBD has been shown to be an anti-inflammatory. The other side of this is the 10X. If you're going to use CBDA because it's unstable, you have to stabilize it. Uh, and so, you know, if another company is saying they have CBDA, I can't, I can't really be assured that that CBDA is going to get into my system. I can't even be assured that it's going to survive the transport if it's exposed to heat during transport uh, before it gets into my system. So I want something that's stable, and 10X stabilizes it. 10X also increases the absorption of that CBDA so that it gets to the target organ and, and can actually do something.